hey 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 welcome everybody thank you for joining my broadcast how are you all doing all right we got a bunch of good people in the, in the broadcast tonight how are you guys doing welcome welcome thank you for joining <laughs> thanks um yeah i've uh i've uh, played around with a lot of the technology so um i've uh <clears throat> gotten pretty good at it who am i <laughs> Um, uh, I've set this up for my church, so I've gotten very, very good at, um, at, uh, doing the, uh, broadcasting stuff, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, learned a lot about it, so I, uh, I use the abilities it gives me, right? And the abilities it gives me is to do this stuff, so hey, 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 welcome everybody. Thank you for joining Anna. Thank you for joining Barbie. Thank you for joining Bessie. I'm, I don't know if you guys' names. You guys are new. I know you're in Rick's scope, so I just got to get your name a couple times and we'll be good to go. <laughs> All right. So we, uh, says um, Malia. Very nice. Very nice. Marcy came and left. Yes, you're new. That's awesome. Welcome to Periscope. I got a uh, busker around over here. I don't want to ignore you guys. Hello, Music Man Monty. How are you doing? I'm not following you, friend, so I'm going to have to do that. And you know what? Hit, I love it in his title. It says, Jesus loves you. That is absolutely the truth. And um, no one ever goes on uh, YouTube except for maybe Caleb every once in a while, but that's all right. Hey, love777, thank you for joining. All right. All right, guys. Okay, let's get into this. Look, oh, Rick's still on over there. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's still going. Still going. Still going. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Alright, guys. So, um, here we go. I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am uh, a prayer warrior, an intercessor. At least that's what they tell me. Uh, that's right. More people to pray for. There's lots of people to pray for. We can always do that. That's my job. That's definitely my job. It's been given to me by God. I'm pretty sure that. Um, you should expose that to me a bunch of things. Are we doing a Bible study? We're going to do a couple things. So what we normally do is we read the Bible. We, uh, so we do chapter at a time. I'm a fairly new Christian. They call me a baby Christian because I've only been saved for probably about, uh, what is it, almost three years now. And, um, yeah, I've always been, a, I was a Catholic for a long time. So, um, I'm, uh, newly the scales have been came, come off of my eyes, and I was able to see and read the Bible, and things understood. You got your army pants. <laughs> oh man, you're so funny, Edwin. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, fairly new, and um, and that's it. So I'm, I'm on fire for uh, I'm on fire for him, man. He's uh, he's really done some good things in my life so far, and um, really uh, changed me around. So uh, maybe we'll get in some testimony stuff if my headache goes away. We'll see. Um, <laughs> what this, what this, we'll talk about this one in a little bit. Uh, so we normally do Bible reading, uh, and then we do a, um, I would do the devotional and we have to catch up because we're a day behind because I played hooky yesterday. I'm playing, I'm doing Periscope because I had a good date night with my wife and I'm very glad that I did that because, uh, this is very important, very important. I got to start doing that more often. Problem is she keeps me out too late. We're out of the drive-in movie till 2 a.m., but that's all right. I'll, I'll. I'll be all right. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yep, you got to definitely get out. You got to get out and be with people. So, um, all right, guys. Thank you for the invites and follows and shares and retweets. All the hearts. You guys are awesome. Uh, I do appreciate all of that. Let me finish my little, my little spiel here, and then we'll get rocking and rolling. I'm a devoted husband and father. I am a child of God. I am a new creation in Christ. I am a saint. Right? Can't stay super sick. I get it. Trust me. I know. I know. I got bags under my eyes too. <clears throat> Grocery bags, as my wife says. So uh, it's it's time time to go to sleep. All right. Um, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm a saint. I am God's workmanship, created in Christ for good works. Remember these words. I am a citizen of heaven. I am a proud member of the Jesus Did It family. And uh, if you're new to Periscope or or, or if you're just uh, interested in it, um, and any other social media. Uh, you can go to JesusDidIt.org when we're all done here, and uh, you can take a look at the website that Rick Costa put together. It's a really, really cool website that has um, a, 
um, all these affirmations, all these things that we say. Don't want to be grumpy on scopes. No, 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 no. Yeah, take a look at the website. You can download right where the red arrow is. <laughs> the trolls sleep. The trolls. <laughs> it's true. Um, right where the red arrow is if you click that it'll be a download for you to be able to download those affirmations some of the affirmations that i said tonight as well as there's a lot more uh rick rick and becky did a really nice job putting together this sheet that has um a, a lot of the things that the bible tells you who you are in christ so definitely is that is very important uh to know who you are and who your identity is because uh, that way it'll strengthen your your relationship with them it's because you gotta know who you are right um and on there, on the website there, there is a lot of really good broadcasters that the, the uh, official Jesus Data broadcasters are there. Um, and uh, definitely get a chance to look at, check those guys out. It's still an error when you try downloading it. I asked Rick to fix that. I'm, I must, must have uh, tried it again. I'm pretty sure it's fixed. Cause, um, and then down below there is the broadcasters that we like to watch. Um, when we, when we, uh, when we want to watch a, a broadcast and we support other people. Oh, uh, do you believe there's only one, what is this? Do you believe in our one God, Lord Jesus, with one God, Father? What? I don't get it. Um, weird question. Uh, not not well formatted. Uh, try English this time, please. Um, and then there's some shirts for sale and some mugs and other stuff there. If you're really interested, you can take a look at it. If not, don't worry about it. Just take a look at the website. There's really cool stuff. Guys, tomorrow morning. Good night. No, really, there's someone leaving. There's someone leaving. <laughs> um, guys, you guys are awesome. You just helped me so much in getting to my goal, and um, you have uh, definitely helped me reach my goal of uh, of uh, being able to go on the missions trip. And I'm so so glad for you guys. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some rest. I feel bad for the people bunking with me. They're going to be using the earplugs that I bought for them. Because <laughs> I'm going to be snoring. Desert Liz, thank you for joining. Um, and uh, But, you know, you guys helped me, helped me get to uh, get to my goal and above that. And it's so awesome because we're going to do some really, really good things. No, this is my second missions trip. The first time we went, we actually built that that building right there. Um, the, that building, stick building with the roof and everything because uh, the firemen lost their lease. So we had to actually help them build them a, a temporary structure where they could park the truck. Um, Cause you know, it's like a $750,000 truck um, that, uh, that someone you know, donated to them. God is one, God is one God, Father all, what? I'm not getting it. All right, yes, hi Liz, I am, I am uh, good, I'm good. It's not freezing, is it? No, it's not freezing. I don't see it freezing. Uh, but I don't put it past Periscope of not freezing. So, uh, my Buska friends. Anybody over on Buska? Nobody's on Buska. Um, but yeah, so all it was. Yeah, it might a little bit as I, as I poke around here changing screen. Sometimes it'll do that. But uh, definitely, here we go. Alright guys, so let's get into the reading tonight. The reading is Joshua chapter 6. And um, so here it is. Uh, we're, we're making it pretty good through this book. This is We're getting good here. So, All right. Jesus Christ is our one God. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and he is my God. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a trinity. We believe in the trinity. We believe in virgin birth. I know, right? Like, what? <laughs> you know. All right. We're, we're very, very tr traditional dis uh, disciples of Jesus Christ. All right, here we go for chapter six. Now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, see, I have delivered Jericho into your hands along with its king and its fighting men. March around the city once with all of the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark, and on the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. Oh, this is where this was. I was trying to remember where this was. It's good. It's good to know now. Uh, when you when you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout, and then the walls of the city will collapse, and the army will go up and everyone straight in cool beans. I like that. So Joshua 
son of Nun, called the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and have seven priests carry trumpets in front of it. And he ordered the army, advance, march around the city with an armed guard going, along, going ahead of the Ark of the Lord. When Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went, went forward, blowing their trumpets, and the Ark of the Lord's covenant followed them. The armed guard marched ahead of the priest who blew the trumpets, and the rear guard followed the Ark. All of this time the trumpets were sounding, but Joshua had commanded the army, Do not give a war cry. Do not raise your voices. Do not say a word until the day I tell you to shout, then shout. Then he, then, then he had the ark of the Lord carried around the city, circling at once. And the army returned to the camp and spent the night there. Joshua got up early, and the next morning he and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. The seven priests, carrying the seven trumpets, went forward, marching up before the ark of the Lord and blowing the trumpets. The armed men went uh, went ahead of them, and rear guard followed the ark of the Lord while the trumpets kept sounding. So on the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. And on the seventh day they got up uh, at daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the same manner, except on that day they circled the city seven times. The seventh time around, the, when the priest uh, sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the army, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The city and all of its all, all of it are to be devoted to the Lord. Only Rahab the prostitute and all who are in her house shall be spared, because she hid the spies we sent. But keep away from the de devoted things, so that you will not you know, will not bring out your own destruction by taking any of them. Otherwise, you will be you will make the camp of the Israelites liable for destruction and bring trouble on on it. All the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron are sacred to the Lord and must go into His treasury. When the trumpet sound, as it sounded, the army shouted, and the sound of the trumpet, when the men gave the loud shout, the walls collapsed. So everyone charged straight in, <clears throat> and they took the city. They devoted the city to the Lord and, and destroyed with the sword every living thing in it, men and women, young and old, cattle, sheep, and donkeys. Joshua said to the two men, who had spied out the land, go into the prostitute's house and bring her out, and all who belong to her, in accordance with your oath to her. So the young men went, <coughs> young men who had, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, the young men who did this, who, <laughs> the young men who had done the spying went in and brought out Rahab, her father and her mother, her brothers and her sister, and all who belonged to her. They they brought they brought out the, her entire family and put them in a place outside the camp of Israel. Then they burned the whole city and everything in it, and they put the silver and gold and articles of bronze and, and iron into the treasury of the Lord's house. But Joshua spared Rahab the prostitute with her family and all who belonged to her, because she hid the men that Joshua had sent the spies to Jericho and she lives among the Israelites to this day. At this time Joshua pronounced this solemn oath, Cursed before the Lord is the one who undertakes to rebuild the city, Jericho. At the cost of, the, of his first own, firstborn son, he will lay its foundations. At the cost of his youngest, he will set up its gates. <coughs> Sorry. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame spread throughout the land. Sorry.
All right, guys, that is it. That is uh, that is it for that part of it. And I do thank you guys for uh, suffering through me choking there for a second or two. <laughs> um, but thanks for coming back. All right, guys, we're going to do the Our Daily Bread. We read the Our Daily Bread every day on our broadcast. Every day, every day, we read Our Daily Bread. Our Daily Bread is a free publication. You can get it from this website. Um, if you uh, if you want to check it out, you can go to odb.org and you can get a copy of yourself. Or you can come here every night and we read it to you. Unless I take a night off. <laughs> but I play catch up. If you can see, we're going to read two of them tonight. So, oh, I love this book. I love this book. This is like one of the best books. Um, helps helps like center your mind a lot of things. And then one thing I've also noticed is that certain things that go on in, in my life or certain things that go on within what what what's going on around me sometimes lines up like pretty much most of the time lines up to what's going on so i, I really like this book so for uh we're going to catch up from yesterday's first we're going to do wednesday june 21st and uh, the title is sharing a cup of comfort and it says a friend mailed me some of her homemade pottery upon opening the box i discovered the precious items had been damaged during their journey one of the cups had shattered into a few large pieces and a jumble of shards and clumps of clay dust. After my husband glued the broken piece, broken mess back together, I displayed the beautifully blemished cup on the shelf. <clears throat> like the, like the uh, pieced together pottery, I have scars that prove that I still stand strong after difficult times. God's brought me through. That cup of comfort reminds me that sharing how the Lord has worked in and through my life can help others during their times of suffering. The Apostle Paul praises God because he is the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. The Lord uses our trials and sufferings to make us more like him. His comfort in our troubles equips us to encourage others as we share what he did for us during during our time of need. As we reflect on Christ's suffering, we can, we can be inspired to preserve in the midst of our own pain, trusting that God uses our experiences to strengthen us and, uh, and others towards patient endurance. Like Paul, we can be comforted in knowing that the Lord redeems our trials for his glory. We can share his cups of comfort and bring reassuring hope to the hurting. This is written by that person, I can't say their name, it's like Zythel Dixon, I think it's called, is the person's name, and uh, other good, this is so good, like I love this thing, um, yep, block me you sinners, you don't know your Bible, take the mark of the beast, don't take the mark of the what, are you crazy, what is he writing? Don't keep God's word, you okay to be born to be entered. Wow. All right. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where he's, where he's at. Um, he, yeah, sorry. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, this is really full of good nuggets. So we're going to pray about this. The prayer is, Lord, thank you for using, using us to provide comfort, encouragement, and hope to others who are suffering. We praise you and all you've done. Uh, and are doing and will continue to do to comfort us through our own afflictions. And the footnote says, God's comfort, God comforts others as we share how he comforted us. Amen. Is that the truth? Eggbot. <laughs> Eggbot's making you blush. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, today's reading was from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. And the key verse was 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 7. Our hope for you is firm, because we know that, that, uh, that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. Amen. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is Rick getting them? Oh, no speak of the English. Exactly. <laughs> I get my profile picture. Okay, I see it. Oh, you know what? Is that, uh, let's see what you got. Oh, yes. And while in the mosque, the prophet came out and said, let's go get those Jews. 
Yep, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, if he's still here in a couple of minutes, we'll uh, we'll talk about that. <laughs> That's my headache starting to go away, so we can have uh, some discussions. All right, so now we're gonna catch up for today. Sorry, guys, we're gonna do two readings today, so lots of word for you tonight. But um, but you definitely uh, well, Kenny's got a couple different profile pictures. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, so here we go. Um, the title is Silence. Silence. And uh, it's written by Tim Gustafson. I like when this guy writes. He actually writes really good. Um, skittish chickens scared as relief trucks cl <laughs> clattered past the weathered huts of the village. Barefoot children stared. Traffic on the rain-ravaged road was rare. Suddenly, a walled mansion loomed into the view of the convoy. It was the mayor's house, although he didn't live in it. His people lacked basic necessities while he lounged in luxury in a distant city. Such unfairness angers us. It angered God's prophet, too. When Habakkuk saw rampant oppression, he asked, How long, Lord, must I call for help? Or, yeah, must I call for help? But you do not listen. But God had noticed, and he said, Woe to him who piles up stolen goods, who builds his house by unjust gain. Judgment was coming. We welcome God's judgment of others, but there's a pivot point in Habakkuk that gives us a pause. The Lord is high as a Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent before him, all the earth. The oppressed, along with the oppressors, sometimes the, the appropriate response to God's seeming silence is silence. Why silence? Because we easily overlook our spiritual poverty. Silence allows us to recognize our sinfulness in the presence of a holy God. Habakkuk learned to trust God, and we can too. We don't know all his ways, but we do know all he is good. <laughs> we, we do know that he is good. Sorry, <laughs> I put an extra all in there. Nothing is beyond his control and timing. That's the truth right there. Lord, when trouble comes, we can pray like Habakkuk. We have heard of your fame. We stand in awe of your deeds. Repent them in our day. In our time, make them known. Amen. And the, um, uh, the footnote says, The righteous care about the justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 7. So today's verses was today's key, today's verse was uh, brought to you from Habakkuk chapter one verses one through four and and chapter two verse twenty, and the um, key verse for today was Habakkuk chapter one verse two. How long, Lord, must I call for help? But you do not listen. All right, that's a good one today, man. I'm like really that's yes, <laughs> yes, that's good stuff. I don't know anything. All right, I'm going to go back and catch up on some comments, guys. Let me see. Anybody on Busca? All right, Busca. I see nobody. No comments on Busca. And we see no comments on YouTube. Now we go back to Periscope. Wow, I got lots of, like, comments going on here. Wow, you guys are busy. Hey, Bessie, thanks for joining back. That was Mil uh, Malia, right? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. I'm going back through. Oh, I know nothing. Very good, very good. Okay, I know nothing. Oh, come on. You don't gotta be bad like that. Come on, read your hand. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. Um, yes. That's so fun. All right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, our troll friend who is Muslim wants to uh, us to know uh, about, uh, about his religion. Uh, so I think maybe he should broadcast and tell us about it. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's uh, after this broadcast, let's go listen to um, uh, let's go listen to what Kenny eight oh three seven has to say when he broadcasts. 
when are you going to broadcast, friend? When are you going to tell us about your uh, your faith? Because um, I'm doing it. And, uh, <laughs> and you're right, I don't know much. But you know what I do know? I do know that Jesus Christ loves me. I know that he died on the cross for my sins. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Pastor Cindy. I do appreciate you coming on here. It's like uh, uh, unbelievable. The glory chain, which will keep me in. Uh, definitely, please. <laughs> I get a little snarky there, just a little bit. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. That's right. Uh, he died on the cross for my sins, for your sins, for all. Right? It's a very, very key words there. He died for all. And uh, we all have to understand that. Um, Mike Ello. Mike Ello's in the house? Mike Ello? Did I see Mike Ello? Wow. Lots of good people in here tonight. All right. So, uh, yep, Jesus is God. That's right. He's my God. He's my Lord, my Savior. He is. He is. He's hanging out with the, uh, with the great I am because he is. I know it's a really hard thing to understand. It's like a wish. <laughs> wish there was a way to wish there was an easier way to explain it but you know what um, once you get it you get it right <laughs> you don't mind can you pray I don't get bad dreams tonight oh we can definitely do that um, Lord Heavenly Father we uh, we lift up uh, Malia today Lord we uh, we just we just ask that you fill her fill her um, fill her heart with uh, with comfort and uh, fill her mind with uh, with uh, sweet dreams, so that way uh, she can wake up tomorrow refreshed with no trouble, and uh, not being scared at all tonight. Lord, uh, we know that sometimes the nighttime can uh, can cause havoc on some people, and um, Lord, we just uh, we ask for protection for her for her bad dreams. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Oh, I forgot to switch my screen. I'm so bad. I'm like a slacker tonight. Blessed dreams, God's grace come on. There we go. Demons leave her alone. Exactly. Exactly. Amen and amen. Yeah, so uh, and then what we do is we pray for people and we talk about stuff and we own oh, no problem anytime. So uh, yeah, a little story about, about praying. Uh, that's part of the part of how I came to to be uh, really came to know my that's right, we touch and agree. We uh yeah, praying for you. Absolutely. I'll mark that one down too because um, you gotta let us know how how you feel. I do have a, I do have. If you guys have any praise reports or um, or uh, any uh, prayer requests or anything like that, or you have a question, uh, just definitely come on and give me uh, put it up in the chat stream and we will uh, talk about it. If I miss it, just uh, I don't worry about it. I I'll catch it. I'll come back and grab it. Um, but I definitely throw it in there. Um, so huge praise report, huge, 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 huge praise, re praise report. Um, hey, how's it going? Love 777. Thank you for joining. Um, huge praise report. Um, my aunt, who's been in the hospital for three weeks, um, has um, finally come out of her swelling, has finally gotten down on her head. So, um, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yep, definitely pray for me, guys, and for my family. Um, pray for me for, for guidance and protection, and also pray for uh, pray for my wife and my family, my daughters, to make sure. I don't understand why you get bad dreams. You watch secular TV, you don't watch it. Listen to metal anymore, you just don't know. Yeah, we can talk about that one. Who's going to scope in the DR if there is one? Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm definitely going to broadcast um if i can so i gotta check and see there may be wi-fi because the place that we're going to be is a uh, dorm area so um there's a good chance that i'll be able to broadcast so we'll see um and uh because we're closer to the equator yeah definitely yes definitely definitely so dreams have some reasons so it depends on what the dream is about i don't know very much about dreams but i know that there are some other people that are, that can help you with that um, Rick, um, who does the dreams? There's someone in our group that, that does dreams, that, like she interprets them, isn't it? Um, oh my goodness. My brain hurts right now. <laughs> um, is it Latoria? She does the dreams? Latoria? Yes, I think it is Latoria. 
follow Latoria and try to catch her when she's on a broadcast. She uh, she uh, she helps out with dreams um, because sometimes she can help interpret them. She's pretty good at it, and um, you know uh, maybe uh, have some clarity there. Uh, maybe maybe <laughs> maybe it's like me. Yep, yeah, Latoria, if you go to uh, JesusDidIt.org, yep, yeah, um, you'll see uh, you'll see her picture there, Latoria. Uh, and she's definitely a good broadcaster. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe like me, I uh, land up drinking caffeine a little bit too late sometimes. You were a recipient of an act of kindness today. That is awesome. I love it when that happens. I absolutely love it when that happens. Because I do that a lot. Like, I'll, I'll go and buy coffees and stuff like that. And like, I've, I've been doing that for like two years, just buying coffees with the people behind me. I never gotten blessed, right? Never gotten blessed by it, and then and all of a sudden, like my my wife went to to a dollar store, and someone put it around Christmas time, and someone had put a hundred dollar bill down on a thing and said, "Pay for everybody's bills until the hundred dollars is gone." So my wife got like this couple things she was getting for for free, and then um, <clears throat> and then just not a couple weeks ago, I got someone had paid for my coffee in front of me. I'm like, "No, no, no! I'm supposed to do that. That's my job. It's supposed to make me feel good." But you know what? You gotta be blessed. And we gotta be able to take it, right? It is amazing, you know. And uh, and we got we gotta take that, right? And so unexpected, right? So then you just got uh, listen. I'll tell you what. There's been so many stories, like like Lisa Lisa, our friend Lisa, that comes on here. You know, she donated to the missions trip, and and uh, yeah, it's hard to accept it, right? Isn't it though? That's why I do the sneaky, the drive-in at like Tim Hortons. I'll be like, oh, all right, I'm gonna, what's what's the person behind me getting, you know? And then they'll be like, all right, I'll pay for their bill, and um, and just tell them, you know, just tell them to have a great day, you know? And um, that's what I do. But this is the person, Lisa, she she went and um, she uses, yep, yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely in all kinds of ways. Like Rick the other day, you know, they they uh, you know, he's been helping out people, been reaching out, reaching out. Yeah, you got blessed the other day with him. Yep. You got blessed with a book deal. You got blessed with uh, with getting your car fixed with the extra cleaning on your engine and stuff like that. You know, just by reaching out in faith and being able to be generous. You know, it's unbelievable when that happens. You know, and 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 then you're like, wow. You know what? It really is. It really is for true. You know, if you reach out and you step out of that, yeah, you know, step out of yourself a little bit and give. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, you, I mean, don't don't give to the point of you, you don't have anything left. But you know what? If you can do it, definitely it works. It definitely works. And you know what else works? Prayer. So I was getting back to my prayer, my praise report. My aunt Sandy, you ready? Three weeks in the hospital. Three weeks in the hospital. She was uh, sitting, laying in bed there. She, I'm telling you, she was just like, like out of it and like. You know, chasing people with knives and forks and just they had to restrain her and all kinds of stuff because her her brain the swelling on her brain was so bad it was causing her to go you know go crazy temporary and um and so we um no one knew what to do and like the doctors are all like oh you know we just gotta get the we gotta get the swelling down and they had to get the stuff in her or, you know try to get the stuff in her and uh the iv and all that stuff yeah oh yeah it was horrible and um and so the other night when I went, I went there because my, my mother was telling me, now I, I had not had a chance to go uh, visit her. And I went there the other night. She's like, take me home. Take me out of here. You know, she was just really not, not with it. I'm like, I can't take you home. You know, you need to stay here. And um, so, so I, uh, you know, I put, put my hand on her shoulder. I prayed for her. And, um, you know, I just commanded that, uh, that, that spirit of sickness out of her. And, um, and so the next morning, you know, and then as on the drive home, I also, um, I, you know, also it was like, you know, yep. Yeah. Hey, for hand Sandy, ready for this one. This is amazing. So, you know, we're praying for, I'm praying for the whole ride, ride, ride home, you know, just, you know, there's uh, all kinds of fire going on inside the car on the ride home and, um, just praying her up. And then I, um, so then we woke up this morning, I got a text message from my sister and said, you know, and my prayer was, my prayer was that, 
because she was she really she had something she was mad at my uncle for bringing her to the hospital because you know she was like having so many problems and you know and she was mad at him like telling him I want a divorce and this that and the next thing and all kinds of stuff it was crazy and um oh, I hate you you know and all kinds of stuff she was telling him and um so that, my, that was my her my prayer last night was that uh, that the swelling would go down and that her she would um um you know start showing her love back towards him and not be so hateful towards him and then we got a text message this morning i shared it with the people in the g and and um uh well maybe i didn't share it with you guys i should have shared it i'm so sorry um i, sh I shared it out somewhere <laughs> and um and uh she goes she, uh he wrote in there she goes uh she woke up this morning i had a very good night last night woke up this morning with um and started talking to me and didn't hate me. What was that? I was like, what? What? Don't tell me prayer doesn't work. Don't tell me prayer doesn't work. Prayer works. Yeah, uh, definitely. That's amazing. And then, so I went and visited her today. Um... Yep. No, he hears us. Absolutely. He hears us. There's no doubt. No doubt. Prayer does work. And, uh, actually, no, it was Wednesday. It was that Tuesday. Tuesday I went to go visit. That's when I prayed for her. And then yesterday I prayed all day for her. And then it was this morning. I'm sorry. I had my, I'm, like, messed up on a day here. But, yeah. So it was just amazing that that little bit of time and they were able to give her, she was able to get the medicine and everything started working. And, and you know, here I was. I had my little I had my little, I said, I was like going to grab my, my jar of oil and I was getting ready. I was like getting that thing ready. Had the frankincense oil in there with it and everything. I'm already, you know, I'm uh, asking for the oil to be, uh, to be anointed and everything. So I could go back over there today. Cause I didn't know, I didn't know that she was feeling better until, until this morning. So I was all ready to go fight some more, some more spiritual warfare. And, uh, but ready to anoint the whole place and her and the whole, everything. And, um, she was just there and it's like, boom, you know, well, that's, that's because, because uh, that's how I understand it. I don't need big fancy words. I don't need, uh, I don't need to be, uh, I don't know. Listen, I went through a long time in my life of being nasty and angry at people and things. And now that my I've changed myself around and God actually say I changed God changed me. And you know, knowing Jesus helped me get to be like this. You know and I say it all the time, you know, I made someone quit I made someone so upset that they quit their job. <laughs> you know, they, they the reason they quit their job on their paperwork was because of me. And, um, you know what, um, you know, now here's the amazing thing. She's a, she's a Catholic, um, not practicing, you know, I don't think she, but, uh, the other day they, um, they came through and, and she goes and she went to go there someone asked her, do you want to, it's a Catholic hospital. So, um, so they, um, they come around with a communion, right? Every day and ask her if she wants communion and she's like, I can't take communion. I'm divorced, and I guess the the priest was like, uh, "No, that's kind of changed now a little bit, and you can take the you can take it." It's like, "Wow, that's something new to me." So I didn't know that either, but that's pretty interesting. Um, Mary, I don't sense no anger. Yeah, no, I it, it's took a lot. That's right, Liz. That's right. Catholic hospital, Catholic priest, and uh, you know it. Um, even though the uh, one of the nurses there, I don't know if she accidentally punched her, you know, because when you're fighting, fighting someone to restrain them, you know, who knows what happened, you know, she got a black eye from that one, but you know what, it's part of the deal, right? Um, but definitely, it's good, good news, and I'm so glad. And I prayed, prayed again for more for her while we were there. I prayed for her when we were, when I was driving back home again. Yeah, no, yeah. I was like, what? She's like, look, I got a black eye. I'm like, no way. And she's like, look, my wrists are all 
bruised up and hurt and my ankles and everything. Well, that's because they had to tie you down, man. You know, you're running around the hospital. Oh, I'm so glad she's doing better, too. Uh, you know, and it's just there's so much going on with we getting rid of the trip and a brother in law who had who had kidney stones and all kinds of stuff. Look, I see bubbles, bubbles for Jason, but there's no one else. What? Oh, oh, your bubble. Gotcha, gotcha. She must have really been out. Of it. Yeah, she had no idea. And um, so we're telling her today what happened. And um, she's like, what? What? She was actually getting upset because she's not really how she is at all. You know, this is a person like that. Everybody's like, oh, she's so mean. She's so angry. And, and and they're like, no, this is not how she is. She, she works with the kids who are troubled in the schools. She helps kids get their GEDs, right? She works with the troubled kids, with the hard ones, you know, the ones that are really difficult. She works with those kids to get them through school. You know, to get their to get their uh, to get their education to get their you know their college or their high school diploma you know uh, it's uh, craziness to to think that's you know that someone would think so think that she was anything different than a very nice person you know um, she's a little snarky got a little you know got a little bit of spunk to her but that's all right that's the way she is <clears throat> but uh, definitely not but this guy's changed his profile picture about four times already <laughs> He comes in, comes out, he's waiting, he's waiting for me, he's lurking. This Kenny8037. Oh, sounds like someone fell off the bed. Alright, so glad she's she's on the mind. Yep, definitely. She's got her yep, she's on the men and she's definitely there. So um sounds like angry. Yeah, no, that's uh definitely yeah, that's what and so the the yeah, there's lots of people on. Uh, uh, you're new, so I'm. I'm just gonna warn you. There is a lot of people on here that speak the word of God, and a lot of them are not true or genuine, and you have to be careful. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and that's why. That's why that. That's why Rick started the Jesus Did It group. Uh, no, no, no. You're not rude at all. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um. So Justin Smallwood, no way. Get out of town. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining, friend. We haven't seen you in like forever. How are you doing? Yeah, be careful you watch, be careful you listen to. There's um definitely some interesting things. That's right, Justin. God is freaking real, y'all. <laughs> You've been working. That's good news. I saw that on Facebook. That's awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. Um, guys, give me one second. I'll be right back. Um, here's what we're going to do. Can I play a video for you guys real quick? I'm going to play a video. One of my kids fell out of bed. i got to go take care of something real quick. I'm going to put a video on for you real quick. It's about the Trinity. And, uh, and then we'll be right back, okay? So I'll be right back. Is emphatic. It emphasizes the majest the majesty of the speaker. Furthermore, the use of a plural for God allows for the later revelation of the Trinity, which can be found in Genesis eleven seven and Matthew twenty eight nineteen, which I'll cover here in a second. The us cannot refer to the angels that are present with God because man is made in the image of God alone, not also that of the angels. Now let's take a look at Genesis chapter 11, verse 7, which states, Come, let us go down and there confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. Again, it says, Come, let us go down and and there, confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. The us in this passage is similar to the language in 
Genesis 1.26. The plural pronoun emphasizes the majesty of the speaker. And also, Matthew 28. Everybody's okay. Everything's good. <laughs> We're all good. Go there yeah, we uh, disciples of all nations, baptizing that's it. them. That's it. So yeah, definitely be careful who you're talking to on Periscope. Aaron's good. Spirit. Problem rectified. Picked up and uh, put back to bed. So there it is. Thank you so much, God, Pastor Cindy. Christians. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, Jesus did it. Family is pretty good. Yeah, we love you too. Um, and thank you for your support. Um, definitely. So yeah, uh, let's see. Rick Costa, can you get me out of Messenger Group? They are live. We keep getting notifications. Oh no! Life, and our friend Kenny's back. Pray that someone's heart. Will be pricked and changed because of got something truth. going on in the background there, isn't it? Still, sorry guys, hold on. Because let's uh, fix that. There we go. Now we won't have weird stuff in the background. I think you can do that right from your own there. Oh, sorry about that. I think you can do that on your own there, um, Justin. All you gotta do is go up to the top of the thing and say you want to be removed. You'll be uh, you'll be good. So yeah, um, so yeah, guys, we're we're uh, we're here. If you have any prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, uh, definitely. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Don't worry about it. That's awesome. Can't be at church tomorrow because I will be playing guitar. What? You're playing guitar? You're coming on broadcast and playing guitar, buddy? Becky, thank you for joining. Edwin, thank you for coming back. Uh, Raj, thank you for joining. Justin's going to play guitar tomorrow. You're going to come on and play guitar? That is so cool. No, somebody sent me a broadcast. Uh-oh. Stop believing in fables. Yeah. Well, you believe in what you want to believe, and I'll believe what I want to believe, and, you know, Sometimes spell checker will help. Um, I know, right? We miss this playing guitar, ain't it? Who am I? Um, I definitely miss him playing guitar, right? That's fine. You can believe what you want to believe. That's fine. Uh, this is a... Uh... <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, boy. Just... Justin is here, and uh, thanks for joining. Back again. Becky. <laughs> but church, before they were killing all non-believers. Oh, you know what? But it, we don't live in that time anymore. We live in a time where people are commanded to love the Lord their God with all their mind, heart, and soul, and to uh, love your neighbor just as you do your God. So uh, as long as you do that, and that's what, what we believe in, we don't believe in killing people who don't believe. It's kind of uh, fruitless if you think about it. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna, you wanna help the people that don't believe to believe, so that way they can, we can grow the kingdom, and that's 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 what we do. And so that's why we're here. This is why we why we share this with other people. It's to strengthen each other up, right? Sharpen sharpen our iron, and um, and uh, you know put put our armor on. And also to uh, help others. Oh, I have respect for you too. Thanks for joining. Um, you know, and uh, definitely, you know, help each other learn it, learn about some new things, and also help uh, help people who don't know who, who don't know who Jesus Christ is, and, and uh, how how uh, how God's how the whole Bible is God's love story for of us. And um, you know, we uh, and we just have to know that story, right? The story is is that. Uh, he loved us so much, he just got, he had to send someone here to show us who the perfect example was, who the perfect person is, or was, is, hard to describe. <laughs> she gave us a perfect example of what, of what a sinless life looks like. 
and what uh, and what uh, you know you know how how we should live. You know, it's a perfect example of how we should live our lives. And um, and then uh, and then he died for us. He died for our sins. He took every single sin, every single one of them, took it onto the cross. Could you imagine all that pain? Taking every single sin that's ever happened, uh, you know, that's ever happened and will happen, uh, and brought all that into him and in, into his body, brought all that sin and pain. Uh, I don't know if I can handle that. That would be just like excruciating. Uh, but he took it all in, and and he took it, he took it on the cross with him, and um, I thank him for that. He is, uh, I know, right? We like your friend too. She's a good person, absolutely. Absolutely. So guys, do you have any prayer requests or praise reports? Anything like that? I don't even know. Is our uh, Jesus loves us? He does love us. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely. I'm wondering if my app didn't update on this phone. That's why I didn't have the super fan thingy or super star thingy or whatever it is. I wanted to make sure I turned that off because I really don't want you guys spending your money on um, on something that's fruitless like the super hearts um, save your money you know put it in the dish at church uh, buy someone a coffee at the store you know do something like that with it don't waste it here on periscope it's, uh, yeah. from what I understand even if even if we do qualify it, you may or may not get your money so um, yeah save save the money and put it somewhere else. Spread the wealth somewhere else, definitely. Um, but yeah, I'm getting ready. I got my suitcase pulled out. I got uh, got my my hydration pack ready to go. With that uh, holds my Bible, my hydration pack, and and uh, some other things. So I'm getting there. I'm getting ready. I guess he still had some issues. Who had issues? Hydration pack. Oh, 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 hydration pack is cool. Check it out. So, hydration pack is a backpack, small backpack. Okay. But inside of it, it's got this bladder that you can put. I think this one's like a two gallon. Yeah, I think it's a two gallon. Two gallon bladder. In it, and it's got. Uh, this little nozzle thingy, so then you just you wear the pack on your back, and it keeps the water cold, and and you wear it on your back, and then I got a spot here for my Bible, and yeah, those are cool. I bought it on the last trip, and I have a feeling that's why I didn't get sick <laughs> because I didn't wasn't drinking uh, the other water. Um, I was only drinking the water that came out of the fountain, so that was uh, definitely uh, something there. And then, and then you, the to keep your extra water. I have a little s spare water in case that one gets too warm. Oh, we had a praise report. What was that? I missed something. Oh my goodness. Praise report. My mom was diagnosed a year ago with uterus cancer and she got word yesterday. Got word yesterday about what? That she's cancer free. She got word yesterday. Are people actually open to the gospel in other countries? So, um, yes, actually. Um, there is, um, especially in places, the like Dominican Republic is uh, very, a lot of the people that are from, that were going to minister to. All right, so praise report. I'm not going to go away. Uh, I miss you too, man. I do miss you too. I miss, uh, see, it's been so long. I almost forgot her name. Luna. I miss Luna, dude. Um, <clears throat> so, first things first, let's take care of this guy with the praise report. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for, we thank you for uh, uh, Deanna, oh, was, I'm sorry, woman's, uh, woman's mother. Lord, we thank you for this awesome praise report of, of being cancer-free. That is an uh, amazing, amazing thing, Lord, and we, we just praise you for, uh, for guiding her mother into being a uh, uh, cancer free and uh, Lord we just thank you for this amen amen and amen awesome news that's good stuff anytime this man cancer is a bad thing and we're so glad that uh, that uh, it's cleared up and gone 
Shriveled up and gone. That's that's awesome. All right, so gospel. All right, so um, <clears throat> if you're taking guitar lessons, uh oh, get out of town. That's awesome news. Um, so in the Dominican Republic, most of the people that were no problem anytime. And listen, that's uh, that's what we're here for. Um, yes, God's got it covered, no doubt, no doubt. So in the Dominican Republic, there is um. Uh, well, the people that work in the in the um, in the sugarcane fields in the villages, they uh, most of them are are migrants from um, from Haiti. So there is a lot of um, Haitians in there. There's a lot of people that are undocumented, so they don't quite know where they're from. But there's you know it's good understand that they're probably from Haiti and a lot of the people are um, they believe in um, voodoo and they practice witchcraft and um, you know there's witch doctors running around the place and all kinds of stuff and so um, through score international yeah crazy stuff through score international they've gone and um, uh, started some uh, local village churches and what they did was they didn't just go in there and say, yeah, and it is very scary. Um, <clears throat> but, they, but they didn't just go in and say, we're building a church and uh, we're going to run this church. No, no, no. <clears throat> they went into the village. They evangelized, right? They did. <clears throat> they worked with uh, people uh, in there, people who wanted to be godly men, right? You know, guys that wanted to be godly men who were showing promise of being a pastor uh, saw them through the process of becoming a pastor to be, you know, ordained and all that other stuff <clears throat> and uh, worked with them to bring them to be a pastor, help them through training. Uh, they built the church buildings and um, they, you know, helped out with things and they were able to get buildings built. And so uh, Dominicans minister to Dominicans and the people that run the SCORE missionary um, they help and guide, right? And then there's, there's, you know, church plants, uh, in there. So there's, there's a couple other pastors that are there, multilingual, um, that, that go, that are there. And, uh, you know, they, one of them is Pastor Craig. I can show you at the end of the, end of this broadcast, if you want, um, about San Jose, which is one of the villages we go and visit. Um, San Jose has, um, a church that has, um, that was all built through donations, people building it, you know, local people building up a church and with the help of missionaries, short term missionaries. And, um, and so our job, our job to go there is, Oh, I'm sorry, water ministry. So what they do is, um, most of the people like they may have to, may have to walk, um, all day just to get five gallons of fresh water. Uh, if they live back in, in the villages, so they, they might walk all day just to get five gallons of water to walk back. And, um, and it's not very, very clean. It's clean enough, but it's not like super clean. So what they've done is that at the church is they've built, um, water purification stations where they purify and filter the water, uh, the local groundwater, and, um, then they bottle it. And then you can, the people come and get, come to church, they can get water, they can get some food, you know, they can, it's basically a really good outreach into the community to be able to help with that. So, um, it's amazing what they're doing. Amazing what they're doing. So when we go, we, you know, we, when we go, we, we sometimes will do evangelism. We'll go through the village with the, with the missionaries and we'll, uh, we'll walk through and we'll, um, we'll pray for people. We'll hand out food, uh, packages, you know, and, uh, stuff like that. Thanks for the invites. And, uh, when we go, it's really, really, uh, uh, just, uh, be able to show people that 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 people love them, right? And be able to show them what uh, you know what a follower of Christ looks like, you know, and try to bring help help lead people. Um, we're specifically going down this year to help out a missionary who does um, firefighter ministry. So he has gone through six fire stations that he does um, Bible studies at six fire stations with with the firefighters. And so with that, there's a group called Brothers Without Borders. They're a bunch of missionaries, but they're firemen. They come down and actually help. It is super cool. They actually help them, the, the, the firefighters, learn how to be firefighters. 
and how to fight fires and how to you know how to do rescue missions pull people out of you know cars and cracked up cars and all that other stuff they actually airlifted um airlifted from niagara falls new york they airlifted a um um, a whole fire truck that they donated down there for them um you know so that way they'd have a, a good fire truck to be able to use and uh because it's such a poor country right there's just no not any money and for them to spend you know a fire truck is probably close to a million dollars you know and uh that's a lot of money for for one truck so uh definitely cool stuff definitely cool stuff so when we go, we help out. We help out with that, and um, that is awesome. And, um, you know, so we help out. And so right now, the guys are sleeping, like, on the back of the truck. They're sleeping on the floor, on a, on a, you know, with a blanket. You know, they're whatever they're doing, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so we're going to build bunk beds this time. We're going to six firehouses, build bunk, have bunk beds. With those bunk beds, we're going to build bookshelves. And we're going to fill those bookshelves with Bibles, with the Spanish Bibles that they use. Um, so it's just amazing what we're going to do, and um, I can't wait. Night, night. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm probably going to broadcast tomorrow, and then we'll see what happens uh, next uh, during the week, next week. So, um, All right, guys, if we have no other prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, um, truth is, I'm tired. You want to go on a missions trip with your brother? Uh, Mr. Your brother went to Thailand. Thailand's a very interesting place, definitely. Um, there's lots of lots of church groups that go, and um, uh, places that need it. There's lots of places that need it everywhere that's needed, especially over in like Thailand and that. There is, yeah. <laughs> Truth is, I'm tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, there is. Um, uh, let's see. There is, um, been, been following, uh, this one guy on Periscope, he's called the, the liberal guy, and he explains about, um, about, uh, the extremist, extreme, extremist Islam, and, um, he, he shows, uh, shows, uh, it's almost like an exposure to it, and I guess that one of the largest areas is, is in South, and is in Asia, South Asia where um, the Muslim population is really just exploding. And then um, also in Europe, too. And um, so, you know, it's just fine. We love we love all people. Um, it's just the ones that go extreme, you know, that uh, really want to live out those words that are in their book. Um, you know, and I, I've, had, uh, I've had a chance to read uh, some of the Quran and um, some of the verses really scare me because if they were to truly uh, abide by the by their rules, uh, yeah, that is definitely a cult. Um, they would uh, we wouldn't be here, right? You know, they would want to eradicate us because you know. But um, but that's it. You know, I, I'm I'm a person who has been saved and um, changed my life, repented. They do hate us. There's no doubt, but uh, you know what? What we want to focus in on is is love, and right? Praise God that He is has um, has us covered, right? You know, and when we um, when we look at that, uh, it is just a something that we we really need to be positive with. So when someone comes onto my broadcast, you notice I won't block them right away, right? I won't block. I very rarely block somebody unless they're extremely upset, obscene. Um, <laughs> welcome, uh, hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, there's, um, the, yeah, I won't block them. I'll, um, I'll listen to what they have to say, right? Yep, love is, is power. That's right, because that's how what he commanded us, right? He commanded us to love, so. Yeah, the blocking is not, it's not something I like to do, because what I want to do is, um, you know, and most of the time, you guys will suppress them by by reporting them, and it'll suppress them. You won't you won't see their words, which is fine. Only I get to see them, and I don't care. I'm not I'm not that much offended by words because I've seen pretty much every word there is in the book, plus some. So it doesn't bother me one bit. And um, 
And but what I want to do is make sure that they uh, stay on here and they actually listen to uh, me say the gospel. If you notice, I've said it about three or four times already. I've I've, I've uh, done a very easy explanation of the of the gospel at least three or four times so far, and um, because I want people to hear it, right? You know, we want people to hear the good news that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior, right? And all they got to do is believe. It's really, really a simple thing. Just believe that he died on the cross for you, for your sins. And uh, just say it with your mouth. And mean it with your heart. Yep. We plant a seed, exactly. And then, and then hopefully hopefully that will uh, that will grow into something that is uh, spectacular. You know, it would be awesome one of these days for someone to come back on here who was a Muslim, right, and come on and go, listen, man, just listening to you say what you had to say, you know, is, uh, you know, made me stop and think of what I was doing and, and want to switch here, right? God is all the time. God is all the time. How are you doing, Tosh Sowers? Thank you for, as I'm saying it right, Tosh Sowers. Thanks for joining, my friend. We're, uh, we're praying for people and we're, uh, we're chilling out. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah, we're, uh, kind of wrapping things up here I was gonna show um, uh, gonna be going on a missions trip to <laughs> tomorrow morning you were a lot more patient than I <laughs> listen because I know I know how bad people can be right because I was one of those people at one time right I was one of those angry people and and I could understand how you could get wrapped up into into you know living in that anger right and um and living a life like that is not healthy you know it's not good for your body it's not good for your mind why do we live in a world filled with terror attacks going on that's a really good question you know why because the, the world was a uh, the dominion right the dominion of the world was put on put for here for us to be able to uh to we're supposed to do something with it and uh, we muck it up you know, the people that are put here, you know, we've given us free will. You know, God has a grand plan, and he gave us the, this free will, right, for us to be able to do what we want to do. And the problem is, is people get really power hungry, and they do what they want to do. And it uh, definitely goes sideways on, on us. You know, do I like hearing about terror attacks going on? No, not really. But, you know, I think we've all, all generations have lived through, um, these big scares, right? You know, look at back in you know back in the late seventies and the early eighties. You know, we had the Russians and and the you know they're, they're, you know, all the you know the, the threat of nuclear, you know, which is still there today. We have just a lot less focus on it. I think what happens is all this stuff used to happen before, right? <laughs> you love the ambiance. Oh, the music, oh the guitar. I love that guitar. Worship guitar is like awesome. <laughs> um, the uh and, and so the you know it's always been there it's just i think our our um all oh, the water is calming right that's what we do we chill out we kind of we kind of uh chat a little bit you know there's lots of stuff going on and 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 terrorism and stuff like that we just didn't know right thank you so much um, i hope so too <laughs> i've got pills for that <laughs> i've got pills for that I've got Cipro. I'm good to go. The moment my stomach feels like it's not feeling well, I pop, start popping the pills, and we're good to go. <laughs> I'm going to the Dominican Republic uh, on a missions trip with uh, with my church, and 14 other people, and we're gonna be uh, uh, we're gonna be spreading the word of or God and uh, helping out. And um, we uh, because of our church the way we are. You want to go. Most people do. It's so awesome. You know, it is really an awesome thing. And it's an honor to go because um, we get to go because we're such we're a smaller group. Uh, we get to go to places that maybe some bigger groups don't get a chance to go to. So we get to go to places like San Jose, which I'm going to show in a video here in a couple of minutes. Um, San Jose is a, is a really, really cool, you know, <laughs> first you don't even want to know this I've got like I've got like four things of ibuprofen and uh, no I've only been to uh, the only place I've ever been to is the United States Canada and uh, Dominican Republic that's it 
<laughs> You've been to Nairobi and and uh, Maui. Wow. Wow, that's good stuff. I think I've seen you before. Beverly. I think I've seen you before. Um but yeah, no, it's like it's it's really good stuff. We're going to help help um help people who are yep, maybe I think so. <laughs> Uh, I see so many people on Periscope and, and different broadcast stuff. It's just, uh, it, it's uh, sometimes hard to remember. Plus, a little bit of a headache doesn't help much either. Um, so the mission trip is in San Jose. It's in, uh, so the town, we stay in a, a village called um, Juan Dolio de Marcones. So you go, would you go to the Holy Land and walk where Jesus is? Are you kidding me? Of course I would. If I had an opportunity to go, I would certainly would. Right now, I don't know if it's such a great idea because there is uh, there is some issues going on over there in the Middle East right now that we 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 Americans have to be careful with, right? And um, that's the only thing. You get the chill roll for your neck. It stays cold. Keeps your body cool. Yeah. That I think I tried that last time. It didn't work so good for me. Uh, I would want to, but I was so scared to. Exactly. Uh, but you know what? Um, that's one interesting thing is once you really, really San Jose. No, no, no. San Jose is a is a village in um, in in uh, Dominican Republic that um, that we helped with. Um, uh, we helped them last time I went. We helped them with. Um, shelving inside of a new building that they built for water ministry so um a lot of, a lot of the um a lot of the villages and things like that are um similar names because it's uh was settled by uh, catholics first right it was um um a lot of uh, there's catholic basilica there they're actually saying that that dominican republic is actually they're thinking that it may be where um um, oh, what's his name? <laughs> Where Christopher Columbus actually landed. Um, and there's actually a, like a huge building that's in the shape of a cross there. And, um, and it's just, uh, that's like the, um, the, uh, museum for Christopher Columbus Museum or something. Uh, we didn't get a chance to go to that, obviously, because we're not there to tourist, you know, too much tourist stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. We went to the basilica that was there. Um, I don't know if I got any pictures of that. Let me see if I can find some pictures real quick. I think I have some pictures of that. Um, but that was like really cool stuff. Um, mission trip. My lap. I hope it doesn't freeze on me. Hope it doesn't freeze. Let's see if we can get a. I don't want to edit. I just want to like view. How about open? <laughs> Rick A, are you here? Are you alive, Rick? Rick? Rick A. I'm not sure if he's there or not. Good night. Good night. Good night, Bessie. Uh, Malia, thank you for joining. Um, definitely keep me in prayer. I'll keep you guys in prayer. Uh, Periscope isn't being nice tonight. Actually, Periscope is not being so bad. Oh, you were over here. Oh, perfect. How are you doing, my friend? Cameron, that's right. Cameron has decided to uh, stop being over to Periscope. And, and um, you know what we'll do? We're, we're going to do maybe, maybe tomorrow. What we'll do is I'll, I'll get together a mission strip night. And uh, we'll be wrong. Ask for prayer again for my tooth pain. What? They came back? No, no, no. We can't have no pain in a tooth. That's not wrong to ask for, ever ask for. On the mission trip. My mission trip, short term. So we're going from Saturday to Saturday. So a full week. And, um, and that's, uh, that's it. So, all right. Um, Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you for, um, bringing our friend Lisa into the broadcast to be able to, um, to let us know that she still has pain in her tooth, Lord. We, um, we uh, we know you are a God of miracles, and Lord, we uh, we also uh, we also know that that pain, that pain, the pain's got to go. 
we uh, get that pain out. Lord, we, uh, we command that pain out in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, let um, let it ease. Let her get some rest. And let her get a hold of a dentist tomorrow that will be able to help her out with uh, getting that taken care of. We, uh, we ask this in your mighty son's name. Amen. Amen. That's it. What does she do? That's it. Wonder what that was all about. <laughs> El Monte 61. All she said was, that's it, and then left. Rick A, are you in here? Are you alive? And she says, that's it. And she left. Interesting. Yep, Clove works. Um, I was just going through pain right now. So, um, gargle peroxide, hopefully infection. Yeah, if it's infected, definitely. Um, what I usually do is I'll take some Ambisol, put it on a, uh, what you call it, because I suffer from bad teeth myself. So um, it's very hard to uh, runs in the family. Chris Rossetti, thank you for joining. So I myself am waiting to. Uh, I'm going to be going on a mission trip with a with a. I don't know if sucking on clove would work, but oil does. Yeah, I we I don't know, but hey, try it. I found the name of my dentist, so I'll call him. Around. Yeah, you should call him around and get that thing looked at. You could be having some issues there. Thank you for sharing, Cameron. I do appreciate you. Um, clove oil. Definitely look it up. Jamin Israel. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. All right, guys. Any more prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, throw them in the chat stream and we will pray for you. Um, we'll... Uh, Praise God for any praise reports. Otherwise, uh, it's 1 a.m. It is my uh, my calling hours time here. Can you explain a scripture real quick? Um, it all depends if I know it. <laughs> so I don't know that I don't know them all, but uh, certainly you can try to ask the question. I might be able to answer it for you. And if I don't get an answer for you, uh, I will research it and bring it back to you. So. Romans 9.4 Romans 9.4 oh, I just read this one. Oh. So how are you doing? Let's talk about that. Romans 9. Play you get pray you get to sleep. You've been praying here for yourself. Absolutely. Lord Heavenly Father, we pray uh, tonight that uh, Lisa gets some well-needed rest, Lord. Let her be able to sleep with that tooth pain being gone. And Lord, we just ask this in your mighty, mighty son's name. We pray. Amen. Also, we've got a bunch of people coming in here now. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining. Thanks for joining. Uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 4. This is kind of an unconventional verse that's being asked for. Normally, there's other verses. So let's take a look and see what this person is trying to convey to us. Okay. So the people of Israel. Theirs is the adoption to sonship. Theirs the divine glory, the covenants, the receiving of the law, and the temple worship, and the promises. So what do you want to know about that one? Hey, it's me, Brother S. Brother S. U. V. Oh, you changed your name. Awesome, Seb. What's up, my friend? How have you been doing? Have you uh, been uh, soaking yourself in the Word and uh, and uh, lifting, being lifted up? Pray. That's who. That's who else I wanted here. I'm gonna put on my list here. I actually asked for you for you for prayer through the Jesus Did It family. Um, uh, we we asked for prayer there. So you start your new job on Monday. Praise the Lord, that is awesome news. 
That is good news. I know you, you were asking about asking for prayer for that. That's really good stuff. Um, Lord, we thank you for uh, for allowing Seb to get a job. Lord, we uh, we know that he was definitely in need, and uh, Lord, we praise you. We praise you for uh, for helping our friend uh, be able to use his abilities to be able to uh, to uh, provide for uh, provide for himself. I've been okay, man. I've been all right. I took a night off last night, a little re refreshed and rejuvenated a little bit, and then, uh, and then uh, on a Saturday morning, I'm gonna be heading off to the missions trip. So you might, I uh, might, may or may not see me for a couple of days, um, but uh, I'm gonna try to broadcast a little bit here and there uh, if I can. Um, we'll see if Wi-Fi is available. If not, uh, we'll do a little quick short scope or something, just to kind of there, you know. Well, bless you too, man. Bless you too. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you got a job. That's some good stuff, man. That's some good stuff. See, God is good, man. All you gotta do is be faithful, and He will uh, He will provide for you. I'm a firm believer of that. I wouldn't have what I have without uh, without the faith. I think because uh, He is great, man. There's no doubt. No doubt. So this person who asked about this verse, he had left. I believe. He comes in, drops the bomb, and leaves. <laughs> so like read uh Romans nine four. Well Romans nine four didn't have much much meat there. <laughs> the people of Israel. Theirs is the adoption to sonship, and theirs is divine glory, the covenants, and the receiving of the law, the temple of worship, and the promises. Very interesting. Amplified says Oh, maybe maybe I'm onto something over here. What did he say there? He says amplified says, "Oh, shrink a glory of God, which is Jesus." Oh, so my Bible might be a little bit different than than yours, right? This is a little differences that uh, Rick says is between my version, the, the NIV, the one that I read, Romans nine four. Yeah, I'm not picking up on that one. That's not like a normal one. That's, um. You know, that was not, I don't get it. I mean, if you go up and read it in context, you know, it's Paul's anguish over Israel. I mean, it's basically he was, you know, he's just telling the guys, they listen. <laughs> and footnotes, no footnotes for that verse either. No references to it. You got nine. It doesn't have a footnote. Maybe it does. No, there's no little numbers by it. It's just weird. It's just random, exactly. Like, I'm kind of confused. Normally, the B1, like, and you'll be able to figure out who they are and where they come from and what, what they're trying to get at. Like, um, oh, you're, you're a teacher. That's cool. That's good. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, normally, you can kind of pick and choose. You, you can see which what they're going to be, whether they're Muslim or they're Hebrew Israelite, or they're um, they're um, agnostic or atheist. You can usually tell by the verse that they pick um, what direction it's going to go to. It's kind of interesting. Hey Becky, how are you doing? Were you trying to get get on the broadcast? Um, Becky, were you trying to or were you trying to do prayer scope tonight? If you are, I'll hop off and some you guys everybody can go over to Becky's if she's gonna do it. I don't know. Were you doing a prayer scope tonight, Becky? Adoption of the sonship was from Abraham. After Christ came, we all became sons of God. Awesome. Prayer scope. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, prayer scopes are there. We pray for you. So if you got any if you got any uh uh, prayer requests or anything like that, definitely. Uh, yeah, I broadcast on Busker, Periscope, and YouTube at the same time. So, all in the same stream, same thing. So, uh, sometimes the words uh, scope, definitely, it should be a busk, right? <laughs> That's why I've sort of changed my tunes from, from a scope or a busk to it's a broadcast. <laughs> so that way I don't catch myself uh, saying the wrong thing on the wrong, uh, the wrong channel. You know, I don't want to breach any any uh, usage uh, violations of usage. 
Yeah. Oh, you said, uh, parrot, you said scope, man. It is a cool word. It's like, you know. <laughs> um, definitely it's a cool word. If you have any prayer requests, praise reports, anything like that, throw it in the broadcast. We'll pray for you. Otherwise, we're going to, can you show me how to set up all three streams? No, IBS. Um, I don't know about IBS because that's uh, irritable bowel syndrome, but uh, I can show you through OBS. <laughs> Good night, Lisa. You have a very nice night. I pray for you. I hope I got your prayer for you. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, yeah, so there's a little program, uh, Mr. Rossetti, you want to look up. It's a little program. It's called, let me pull up the name so I know what it is. It's called N-G-I-N-X. Dot exe. You want to search for that. NGI. Let me make sure I get it right. NGINX.exe. You want to search for that on, uh, on Google. And what you do is you set it up to. All right, good night, Liz. You have a very nice night. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Where is the part where kids are in front of the center? Yep, that's right. N G I N X. Yep, that E X E. You want to look that up, and then, um, and then you have um, new to Busker. Just trying to familiarize yourself with it. Yeah, Busker is a pretty cool app. I like Busker. A um, lot less trolls. A lot, uh, you know, the community is definitely different. Um, is it a plugin? No, it's not. It's a freestanding application. So what happens is you you run you have to have this little file. You'll see it. There's like an any file that you run, and so like Busker changes its key every single time, but like for YouTube and Periscope, it's the same key. So every night I schedule myself, I schedule myself on Busker, and then uh, and then I put it. Uh, I want you to know who God is. I want to know who God is. <laughs> I want to know who God. God. Who is God? God is a creator of heavens and earth. He's a creator of you. He's a creator of me. Uh, he's our Lord and our Savior. He, he gives you everything that you have here. He gives you ability. The God is Jesus. Well, sort of. <laughs> You want to think about it that way. I thought you were going to sleep. God is the one who created you and loves you no matter what. Absolutely. And, um, you know, Jesus is, there's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all make up the Trinity. And the Trinity is God, right? It is all three equal one God. So I know it's a little hard to, uh, to understand that, because trust me, it's hard for uh, the people who believe in it to understand it, right? Don't tell Periscope, but Busker is smooth, wink, wink, and I know, right? Definitely. Jesus is God, or the Father, or the Holy Spirit. Yes, the answer is yes. God is all of that. Should we, should we play the video? I can play a video that can explain it. Um pretty well. Hey Becky. Um, Becky, are you um, are you planning on doing a, um, a prayer broadcast tonight? I don't know if I missed your question before. Uh, sorry, I got another call. Oh, that's fine. Were you planning on doing a broadcast? Not tonight. Okay, good. Laura Royer, thank you for joining. <laughs> and then she went away. <laughs> oh boy. It's all good. Um, Jesus is the Son of God. So, yeah, so he is God too. Well, yeah, that's kind of a hard thing to understand. So that's why I can show you this. I can show you, um, I can show you a little video. The swipe features things. I know. I don't know how many times I've like swiped to go checks out people, and I'm like, oh man, what's going on? I'm going going into the last broadcast. Somebody at the next broadcast over. Blessings to you, Cameron. You have a very nice night. Get some well needed rest, my friend. Um, I'm gonna be going to bed now too. Yes, I am absolutely myself. All right, guys, we're going to walk out on a prayer. Um, and, um, you know, I'll play that video there. So, yep. All right, guys, listen. Uh, thank you for joining me on my journey from Genesis to Revelation. Um, reading the Bible one chapter at a time. 
thank you for joining me with uh, with the um, uh, with the um, sorry the devotional. I do appreciate you guys coming on my broadcast and just spending some time with me, and I do I really do appreciate you. So um, we're gonna go on a prayer, just basic prayer, because uh, we're pretty much praying for everybody. So let's uh, let's seal it up and just uh, just pray our way on out. All right. So uh, Lord Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for all the friends and uh, you know all our old friends and our new friends that have come on to the broadcast today, Lord. We know that we've uh, we we've made uh, we've made some some new friends, and we're we're thankful for them. Lord, we, uh, we thank you for all the people that come on to the broadcast who ask questions. We thank you for all the people who have asked for prayers and praise to you, Lord. Lord, we, uh, we, uh, we thank you for the being able to give us the time to be able to spend and share with you uh, all of the people's requests today for, uh, for, um, for healing and for just praising for healing and people asking for uh, just... Uh, Whatever their intentions may be, that they may not have asked on the broadcast today, Lord. Uh, as long as it's honor to you, Lord, we uh, we ask that you uh, that, that you uh, that you take care of that and you and you understand what needs to be done. And we just thank you for everything that you give us. We thank you for the abilities for us to be able to uh, to be able to have a broadcast like this, to be able to share with everybody on on all kinds of different social media, Lord. We uh, we ultimately thank you for uh, sending your Son here down to. Um, to die on a cross and take away my sins, to take away all of our sins, Lord, we uh, we know that you didn't have to do that, and uh, we are extremely grateful for that, for you to take my sins, and to die on the cross, to raise again three days later, to ascend to heaven. No other person has ever done that, Lord, and uh, has ever walked this earth, and we are very thankful for that. So uh, once again, we thank you for being able to uh, spend time to be able to share the gospel with people, and we um, we hope everyone that's on here gets a well-needed rest and wakes up tomorrow refreshed and rejuvenated and ready to share the gospel with everybody that they come and meet with. Lord, we uh, we until uh, please protect my friends until until we all come back again tomorrow on another broadcast. Hey Ryan, thank you, Lord. So we uh, we 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 love you. And uh, we just uh, say thank you. Thank you, God. All right, guys. I'm done. My brain hurts. I'm tired. It's been a long day. And I do appreciate every single one of you once again. Just remember, Jesus loves you. Know that I love you. Um, know that every single member of the Jesus Did It family loves you. So definitely go and take a look at the JesusDidIt.org website. And uh, click around and see some of the other uh, broadcasters who broadcast under the hashtag Jesus did it. Um, you might find uh, somebody else that teaches you some other things um, to line up, you know, with some things of what you what your uh, beliefs are. So um, definitely, uh, one focus is though, uh, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, and um, and just know that uh, He loves you. All right, guys, I'm tired, and I'm gonna get some sleep. You guys get some sleep too. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and remember, be blessed.